The Jamaica Constabulary Force has launched a probe after an internal lockdown memorandum was leaked to the public. Teach them! Always make sure the message has reached them! The police have launched an investigation to determine who leaked an internal memo that references plans for a lockdown of the country. Senior Superintendent Stephanie Lindsay, who heads the Jamaica Constabulary Forces Communications Unit, confirmed on Friday that the document was real, but stressed that it should not be interpreted as a signal that the country would be placed on lockdown. Based on questions that have been asked of us, it would appear that persons are interpreting this document to be a shutdown of the country. Of course, we have no such information, and that is not the jurisdiction of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Our duty is to respond to the orders when they come, and to support them. It is very unfortunate that the document got out, which is now the subject of an internal investigation. Among those whom the memos addressed were senior officers codenames SSP Fox, SP Echo and SP Delta. It was from the Assistant Commissioner of Police in charge of Area 2 headquarters. Referencing an attachment from the Deputy Commissioner of Police in charge of strategic operations, the memo asked for a strict compliance to orders outlined in an attachment, which were not made public. Given the current state of affairs with the COVID-19 pandemic, it is highly likely that an island-wide lockdown could be hastily enforced, the memo said. As a prerequisite, the development of a divisional lockdown plan is of paramount importance and the Deputy Commissioner's Directive, which highlights the critical factors to be considered, is explicit. The document without the reference attachment began making the rounds on social media early Friday morning, fueling speculation that the government would announce a lockdown in response to the week's sharp rise in the number of confirmed cases of the coronavirus. However, SSP Lindsay explained that the memo was simply a part of the JCF's strategic planning. It would be irresponsible, she said, for the JCF not to be at the planning phase, as it plays a critical role in the battle against COVID-19. The memo was intended for the sole purpose of advising our divisional commanders to prepare their response plan in the event that we see a similar outbreak across the island to what happened in St. Catherine recently. There is not one large organization in this country where the senior managers are not huddling and planning for any eventualities as a result of the COVID-19. So it would be irresponsible of us as a Jamaica Constabulary Force, given our critical role as first responders, at this stage not to be planning our strategies and implementing our response plan. So that is exactly what we are doing because we play a very critical role in supporting the other agencies in preventing the spread of the coronavirus across the country. Teach them! Hey, yo, yellow! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment below. Remember to like and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Follow me on social media and check out the suggested videos on screen. This is Teach saying, until next time, walk good, my friends.